wide. At the same time, that dynamic island thing, it's kind of like, now we saw the design pretty much looks like the iPhone before. I do think that one thing that people are kind of ignoring is during the presentation, they showed that dynamic island that gets in the way of content and that was kind of my biggest worry. And I'm still kind of concerned about how that looks when you're doing any type of you know, full screen video. We also see some cool things with the camera, the modes, active mode. Now, you can, it's basically, do we need gimbals anymore? Because the way that active mode was shown off, I could probably run around with my phone, take some of these really cool action shots, and it translates silky smooth, kind of like what we've seen with GoPros, kind of like what we've seen with the DJI built into the iPhone. Um, that is really special. We also have the ability for it to detect car crash detection. Um, Apple's been really working with an improved three-axis gyroscope, an improved accelerometer that samples your movement uh, something around three times per second. We don't necessarily want it to be used, but in case something happens, that's a really key thing as well. And I think the other standout feature obviously is SOS emergency via satellite. Again, you know, Apple showed off how the Apple Watch has changed our lives. And I think that although we may not use it all the time, the fact that SOS emergency via satellite exists, it's gonna be part of every iPhone 14 and 14 Pro purchase. You'll be able to use that service for the first two years free of charge. Until then, you know, they'll announce kind of a different program or package. Also, that will be available starting November only in